And the last things then we're going to touch on is the LGFA Provincial semi-finals that took place in Munster and in Leinster. So next weekend is going to be Connacht and Ulster. But we'll start with Munster. And there were two semi-finals here, obviously. So the first one was the Banner Ladies from Clare. They beat Moran Abbey from Cork by 3.17 to 4.13. That was after extra time. Now, this is the giant Moran Abbey who had the O'Sullivans, Kira and Duran and players like that. Kira was outstanding with 2-2 in this game. But, I mean, we're going to touch on who was huge for the Banner Ladies in this one. In the other side, Bally McCarby from Waterford, they beat Fanuc St. Sennans by 115 to 7 points. So we'll start with this game really quickly. We're going to look at this. Nevo D was the difference in this game. She, on her own, hit three goals and six points. Grania Nolan also hit eight points. Those two were the difference makers. On top of that, Laurie Ryan, who's actually the captain of Athlone Town, she was a huge player in this game as well. And to beat a more Abbey side, the has the likes of Kira O'Sullivan, Claire, Clara Lynch as well, who hit 1-6, Marie O'Callaghan. But they got the victory. And Banner Ladies, it's setting up again a repeat of last year's Munster final. Yeah, look, and I probably think a bit of a surprise this one probably for most. I'd say, look, I think more Abbey were probably heavily fancied in there as well for their, with their pedigree, what they've won throughout the years as well. And... Uh, yeah, just a great like like you said, the individual performance is still just a great, great result. And it does set up a nice a nice uh final as well. Look, you know, Bally McCarvery, they'll play down in Waterford as well, the dominance they've had down there as well. They're always gonna be a factor in water in, in Munster as well. Jeez, yeah, probably I don't know, does that probably open them up as the as the favourites now for uh for Munster? It does for me. It does for yeah. me because you look at how com- I know I know more and Abbey are better than Fanoog, but they like Bally McCarby, like they, their dominance in Waterford, dominance doesn't even describe it. They just own yeah. the Waterford Championship. They have won 42 Waterford Championships in a row. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. That's ridiculous. Like, can you imagine how the Roll of Honor looks? Just one flag, one crest, the whole way down. But um, yeah, 42 in a row. They've kept their run for a provincial defence on track last year it was more and Abbey that they beat in the semi-final then they beat uh, the Banner Ladies in the Munster final I think it'll be more interesting this year to see can the Banner Ladies get revenge on them and the form that Nevo D is in as I said 3-6 from her is ridiculous but I probably still would lean towards Bally McCarby on this Murren Boyce hit the goal in that game I will still lean to Bally McCarby for this because they will want to go further than they did last time they want to turn that Waterford dominance into provincial dominance, into potentially all Ireland dominance. The other provincial semi finals which took place were over in the East, in the Leinster Senior Football Championship. Now, the first one we're talking about is Dublin champions Chemical Croaks. They beat Milltown of Westmead by 2 7 to 11 points. Strong performances in there from the likes of Lauren McGee. And the goals came from Neve Cotter and Alva Davern. So they're still on track to defend their Leinster title. And then on the other side, Neve Kieran. Had a big victory. They beat Longford Slashers by 120 to three goals and six points. Even though they put up that impressive a scoreline, I still lead towards Kilmacud Croaks. And the thing is, when you're looking at these games, is can any of them stop Kilcar and Clon Burn? Because they're still kicking around over in Connacht. And I think the final four will be Kilmacud, Bally McArby, St. Ergnitz, who took out Donamoyne, and Kilcar and Clon Burn. Yeah, no, look, I'm not. Looking- and look, I think that is the way. When you talk about Leinster in there as well, Kilmacud probably will have too much in the final as well. I know that they weren't huge winners anyway over Milltown as well, but like just with the, with the Dublin players they have, the all Ireland that they have in that team as well, they'll have the experience in there as well. You would imagine that, look, they, they should have enough to get over the line anyway and to get in, to set up that uh, that semi-final you talk the semi-final structure you talk about. But like, yeah, no, I think uh, a great scoring as well, though, uh, on your side, but like, yeah, no, look, I do think that, uh, I do think the Kilmacud are gonna, I uh, will probably come out on top there as well. And, uh, yeah, no, look, it does, it's could we see a double double? I I don't think so. No, I don't think you so. You don't I think, think Kilmacud can be Con- kill Karen? Uh, I, yeah, no, look, I well, I don't think they'll win the men's this year. I think, I think, really? I think yeah, I think they'll be, I think they'll be a little bit short this year. I think that in particular. I think that the injuries around midfield will probably come and get them. I know they, they were fine against Bally Bowden and the men's but like on the day when they, they won the Dublin Championship. But I do think if they came up against the Glen where they're having to play Conor Glass and Bradley in midfield as well, I think 
like missing Diaz and Shublin at the moment, I think they'd get absolutely uh, destroyed in midfield. So like at the moment, I think I think well, I think the women have a slightly better chance maybe of an All Ireland right now than the men. But like the boat will be boat will be right up there as well. I like I both think they have a great chance of All Ireland finals. Yeah, no, I absolutely agree with you. It has been another crazy weekend in the club championships across the board, left, right and centre. Some shocks, some headlines, some great games and some bad games. And we've covered them all here on I'm Clear. So thank you very much for joining us for the 55 minutes. Until the next one, guys. Torara. <laughs>